Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the fourth video in the Introduction to Calculus section of the Calculus Guide video series. So in this video we're going to talk about tangent lines to a curve at a point, limits and derivatives. To learn about tangent lines uh, we're going to revise slope and we're going to revise the equation of a line. We're then going to learn about how the slope of a tangent line to a curve, the rate of change of a function, and the derivative of a function are related. So, to revise the slope of a straight line. On an xy graph, the slope of a straight line describes the change in the y parameter, delta y, per the change in the x parameter, delta x. So our slope, denoted by the variable m, is equal to delta y, the change in y, divided by delta x, the change in x. If on our straight line we have two points with values x1, y1, and the second point with value x2, y2, then we can calculate our slope as y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So our slope can also be described as the change in elevation per unit of run, or we can describe it as the rise over the run. So now to revise what the equation of a line is. The equation of a line through a point x0, y0 with a slope m is given by the following equation y is equal to m into x minus x0 plus y0. For example, the equation of the line through to point 3, 4 with slope 2 can be calculated as follows. Our value of slope m is equal to 2, x0 is equal to 3, and y0 is equal to 4. So when we substitute these values in, we get y is equal to 2 into x minus 3 plus 4. Multiplying that out, we get 2x minus 6 plus 4. And evaluating that, we get 2x minus 2. So in this case, the equation of the line through to point 3, 4 with slope 2 is y is equal to 2x minus 2. So whatever value of x we substitute into this equation of the line, the equation returns the corresponding value for y for that line. So this is a bit about the slope of a curve at a point. The slope of a curve produced by a function f of x at a point x0, y0 is the instantaneous rate of change at that point of the curve. So at a point x0, y0, the slope of the curve is given by the following expression. It can be calculated as the limit of f of x0 plus h minus f of x0 divided by h as h approaches 0. So to describe a tangent line to a curve at a point, the tangent line to a curve at a point x0, y0 is the line through the point x0, y0 with the same slope as the curve at x0, y0. Looking at our chart here, we have a curve highlighted in blue which passes through the point x0, y0. Uh, we also have a straight line uh, highlighted in black passing through the same point, x0, y0. The slope of the curve at the point x0, y0 is the same as the slope of the straight line passing through the point x0, y0. So that black line passing through x0, y0, that is a tangent line to the curve at the point x0, y0. So, say 
if we wanted to find the tangent line to a curve at a point. This is how we do that. To find the tangent line to a curve y is equal to f of x at a point x naught y naught, we first calculate the slope of the curve y is equal to f of x at the point x naught y naught. Then we can calculate the equation of the line with this slope passing through the point x naught y naught. So we're going to step through an example now of how to find the tangent line to a curve at a point. What we want to do is we want to find the equation for the tangent line to the curve y is equal to x squared through the point 3, 9. So we start off with working out what the slope of our curve is, of our curve y is equal to x squared, at the point 3, 9. And we can work that out using the expression, the limit of f of x naught plus h minus f of x naught all divided by h as h approaches 0. So we have our value of x naught, we know that's equal to 3. So we can substitute that in, and our equation becomes the limit of 3 plus h squared minus 3 squared over h as h approaches 0. When we multiply this out, we get the limit of h squared plus 6h plus 9 minus 9 all divided by h as h approaches 0. So our plus 9 and our minus 9 cancel, leaving us with the limit of h squared plus 6h all divided by h as h approaches 0. And when we divide by h, we get the limit of h plus 6 as h approaches 0. So at this point, we can now solve this limit by substitution. We can replace our h by 0. So the limit of h plus 6 as h approaches 0 is simply 0 plus 6. So our slope is equal to 6. We've just calculated that the slope of the curve, y is equal to x squared, at the point 3, 9, the slope is equal to 6 at that point. So we have our slope of the curve at that point, and we have the values of our point. So now we have everything that we need to substitute into the equation of the line, to find the equation of the tangent line. So we start with our equation of the line, y is equal to m into x minus x naught plus y naught formula, and we substitute in our values. Our slope is equal to 6, x naught is equal to 3, and y naught is equal to 9. So we get y is equal to 6 into x minus 3 plus 9, which multiplies out to 6x minus 18 plus 9, which evaluates to 6x minus 9. So we've calculated that our equation for the tangent line is y is equal to 6x minus 9. So what we've just done here um, in this video is we've discussed what the tangent line to a curve at a point is, and we've also just stepped through an example of how to find the tangent line to a curve uh, at a point. So now we're going to talk about the difference quotient, the slope, and the derivative. The expression f of x0 plus h minus f of x0 divided by h, it's known as the difference quotient of the function f at x0 with increment h. Now we can think of the difference quotient as the slope of a secant line, where a secant line is a line that intersects a curve at a minimum of two points. The limit of the difference quotient as h approaches zero is called the derivative of the function f at x naught. And the derivative gives the slope of the curve at a point x is equal to x naught. So that's thinking about difference quotients and the derivative in terms of slopes. But we can also talk about and think about these things in terms of rates of change as well. So 
the expression f of x naught plus h minus f of x naught divided by h is the difference quotient of the function f at x naught with increment h. And we can also think of the difference quotient as an average rate of change, as we did earlier in our previous videos. The limit of the difference quotient as h approaches 0 is called the derivative of the function f at x naught. And the derivative gives a function's rate of change with respect to x at a point x is equal to x naught. So we can think about these things in terms of the slope of a line, and we can think about them specifically in terms of a rate of change. So to tie all of these things together, each of these five things described on this screen are the same thing. The slope of y is equal to f of x at a point x is equal to x naught, that is the same as the slope of the tangent to the curve y is equal to f of x at x is equal to x naught. And they are both the same thing as the rate of change of the function f of x with respect to x at x is equal to x naught. And they're all the same as the derivative of the function f at x is equal to x naught. And all those things are the same thing as the limit of the difference quotients f of x naught plus h minus f of x naught divided by h as h approaches zero. So this ties everything together. The derivative is one of the two most important mathematical objects in calculus. So far, we've been finding derivatives by evaluating limits. But this can actually be difficult and time consuming, depending on how complicated the expressions that you're working with are. So next, we're going to learn techniques that make calculating derivatives a lot easier. Um, this was our fourth video uh, discussing tangent lines, limits, and the derivative. Thanks a lot for your time, and see you next video.